السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سو چلڈرین ہاؤ آر یو آل الحمدللہ الحمدللہ وی ہوپ اینڈ وی پری دیٹ اللہ سبحان تعالیٰ آلویز کیپ یو ہیپی اینڈ ہیلدی آلویز آمین ڈیئر چلڈرین ویلکم بیک ٹو دا جرنی آف ہر بلاوڈ پرافٹ محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم Today, inshallah, we will tell you something really interesting about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's life. It is about Prophet's night journey from Mecca to the farthest mosque, Baitul Muqaddas, in Jerusalem, and the ascent to the heavens. Prophet, peace be upon him, was sleeping in the house of Ummehani near Kaaba. Angel Jibreel came and woke him up, and a small animal was brought to The name of this animal was Burak. It was white in color and it had wings. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam rode this animal and Al-Burak flew up in the sky at the speed of light. It brought Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from Mecca to Jerusalem in a twinkling of an eye. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prayed two rakah salahs at the spot where today there is Masjid Al-Aqsa. Messenger of Allah then came out from there and And the angel Jibreel offered him two cups of drinks. One cup was full of milk and the other had wine. Prophet ﷺ accepted the cup of milk. To which angel Jibreel said, You preferred to be on nature. If you had taken the cup filled with wine, you would have acted against your nature. After this, angel Jibreel took Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him along with him and flew towards the sky. They entered the first sky and the angel at the door welcomed the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. There Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw Adam alaihi salam the forefather of mankind. When Adam alaihi salam looked on his right he laughed and became happy. While when he looked to his left he cried and became sad. Angel Jibreel explained to the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that there were souls on Adam alaihi salam's left and right which were that of his children that is the entire humanity on his right the souls belong to those who will enter paradise while on the left side of Adam alaihi salam the soul belong to those who will go to hell Adam alaihi salam said to the messenger of Allah welcome o prophet welcome o righteous son Prophet Adam alayhi salam expressed faith in Prophet Muhammad's prophethood. Angel Jibreel alayhi salam then went up with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam to the second heaven. And there Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam saw and greeted Yahya son of Zakariya alayhi salam and Isa son of Maryam alayhi salam. Both of them returned their greetings, welcomed Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam and expressed faith in his prophethood. On the third heaven Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him met Yusuf alayhi salam and greeted him Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam welcomed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam returned his greeting and expressed faith in his prophethood On the fourth heaven Prophet peace be upon him met Idris alayhi salam and greeted him Idris alayhi salam also welcomed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam returned his greeting and expressed faith in his prophethood Then on the fifth heaven prophet peace be upon him met Harun alayhi salam and greeted him Harun alayhi salam also welcomed the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam returned his greeting and expressed faith in his prophethood on the sixth heaven prophet peace be upon him met Musa alayhi salam and greeted him he welcomed the prophet peace be upon him returned his greeting and expressed faith in his prophethood Then Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him reached the seventh heaven and met Ibrahim alayhi salam there and greeted him Ibrahim alayhi salam welcomed the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him returned his greetings and expressed faith in his prophethood Prophet walked further and reached up to Sidratul Muntaha What is Sidratul Muntaha Sidratul Muntaha is the furthermost tree the lotus tree which is full of leaves and gives a lot of shade and it is the last destination after which no creation can pass not even allah's angels this tree was emitting beautiful and colorful lights all around it prophet muhammad peace be upon him was also shown baitul mamur what is baitul mamur baitul mamur is the house of allah on the seventh heaven that is worshiped and 
circumambulated daily by 70,000 angels. The angels who once go round, who once circumambulate it, will not have their turn again till resurrection. It means that every day the new 70,000 angels come and worship there. Children, this means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has so many angels. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was then presented before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa saw the splendid light, which was the light of Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered 50 daily prayers for him and his followers. On the Prophet's return, Prophet Musa alayhi salam addressed the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, Your followers cannot perform so many prayers. Go back to your Lord and ask for a decrease in its number. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa went back with Jibreel alayhi salam, and Allah the Almighty, glorious is he, reduced the prayers by ten. Prophet sallallahu alayhi then returned and told Musa alayhi salam, who again told him to request to decrease it more. Prophet peace be upon him went again and again at the suggestion of Musa alayhi salam for decreasing the number of prayers till the prayers were reduced to only five. Musa alayhi salam again asked him to request to decrease more but then Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam said I feel ashamed now of repeatedly asking my Lord for reduction. I accept Allah's will. Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam was also shown the paradise and the fire of the hell on this night's journey. Afterwards, the Prophet returned on the earth. Prophet ﷺ entered Jerusalem. Here, he saw all the Prophets gathered. It was time to pray the dawn prayer, Fajr. Afterwards, the Prophet woke up and found himself near Kaaba, exactly at the same spot where he was sleeping. This experience of Isra and Miraj cannot be explained in human terms because this was a miracle. Prophet peace be upon him told his extraordinary experience to the people of Makkah but most of the people there refused to believe him. The disbelievers found this an opportunity to laugh at the Muslims. Only the Sahaba or the companions of the Prophet believed in what the Prophet said. On learning about this event Abu Bakr Anhu immediately said that he believes it and it is due to this verification he earned the title of Siddiq, which means the verifier of the truth. The Almighty Allah, the one who is powerful enough to have created the heavens and the earth, is surely powerful enough to take his messenger peace be upon him beyond the heavens and show him his signs directly. Allah's purpose of Miraj was to show the Prophet a glimpse of the unseen world, as the Quran says. We might show him some of our ayahs proves, evidences, signs. This is from Al-Isra. Inshallah, we will learn what happened after this in the Prophet's life. For this, keep watching our Sira episodes. And till next episode, take care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.